Hey guys, it's JRTV Gen. Um, I'm here to show you some replays that I had last night um, on my battle log. They're not in a particular, well actually they're in an order so that's how they go. Um, one thing that I'd like to say about PC players is that they're not afraid to have salty runbacks with you. I mean, I had this guy join me a couple of times and I had loads of other like bison plays and stuff. During these matches I'm going to be sort of talking as my thought processes were during the matches. One thing that I had to take into consideration against Ables is the tornado throw and all their like crappy rolls and stuff. So I was just trying to keep him down on the ground, like just putting pressure on him with the occasional throw, mix-ups and the ambiguous cross-ups. And there I wanted to finish him off with a flashy ultra. At that point, since it was an untackable knockdown, I did a light tatsu to get onto the other side to sort of reset the situation and confuse him a little. And then just took him away with chip, but he didn't block anyway, because he tried to do a ultra motion. But since I was on the other side, the ultra motion didn't come out. And here I'm just giving him a bit of mind games. And yep, I expected that wake up ultra. And here, as you saw, I did a crouching medium sure you can. Because for some reason, it has like frame advantage, I think. Is that the word for it? I'm not sure, but it, it generally counters everything. I never do wake up shoryukens with any other shoryuken except the medium punch. And he came back here with Goken. And I just love playing against Gokens. I have like strategy against them. They always do like this crappy counter move on Wake Up. And that's where I just threw him. And here I'm just trying to um, tech all his throws because I know that Gokens love throwing into Ultras. So I'm just being extra cautious of that and just keeping him, trying to keep him to the ground. But he knows that I jump a lot. So he's trying to do the same thing by keeping me on the ground but it's not working. I'm trying to make sure that I don't jump as often as well as trying to tech him. And I don't get why he's trying to create space there. He should have just carried on putting pressure on me to be honest. So I just turn that round on him. Oh, one thing that I love about um, Goken and Goki, or rather Akuma, is their demon flips. I always wait and bait them out, and then I do like a jumping heavy kick, because Ken's jumping heavy kick is really good. Ah, uh, one thing that I didn't like there is that my hurricane kicks didn't come out. I tried to do it twice, as you can see. And here I'm just being quite cautious. And obviously got me over a counter. I'm not particularly worried about playing Gokens unless I'm against like Fight Nation EX's Shiny or like Bullcat or something. <laughs> and I got a Shoryuken. I dropped my combo, but luckily he pressed the button so my heavy Shoryuken hit him. And I took the round, well I took the match really. And I'm pretty sure that's it from him. And here I meet a Rufus player. With Rufus, I played, I tried to play differently. I tried to be very cautious of his anti-air options because he's got so many. And I've got to watch out for the uh, the EX Messiah kick because every Rufus does that on wake ups or anything just to break a combo to like relieve some pressure. So I'm just trying to pressure him I guess. One thing that I like to do 
is obviously the neutral jump into medium punch and then just going to for a throw or something like that. And then just trying to mix him up, try to use the strategy that I did against Abel that time. But obviously he blocked it. And here I'm trying to prevent him from jumping in the air really. Just sort of anti-airing him, keeping him to the ground. Right, at this point, I wasn't particularly, uh, well, anything that he could get me in, I didn't really care because all I needed was just one chip, so I just resorted to like doing some wake-up shurikens, really, and that got me the win. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a request from a viewer, they were asking me if I'm going to be sort of getting Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 when it comes out, but I'm most likely not going to, because I'm pretty much trash on the first one. I'd like to uh, play Ultimate, but I'll be at uni by that time, and I don't think I'll have time to learn a new game. And just so you know, the Rufus player came back with his Cody, which I think was his main character, I'm not sure. But I generally watch a lot of Sasaki videos um, on Yo Yoga Flame 24's channel and Overhead Greg, I think that's how you say it. And his Cody is just amazing. So I sort of take that in cons into consideration because a lot of people have been switching to Cody lately. So I've got to watch out for his type of tactics. But luckily, nobody plays like him. <laughs> He's very unique. He, he's sort of like Momochi, but not. I mean, M Momochi's Cody is really good as well. And here I'm doing the same type of pressure. Just keeping him. Keeping him on the floor. Yeah, at that point I felt really disgusted with a walk up and throw. And I just let loose there. And I just go for an overhead option into chip damage, but he jumps up anyway, so he eats that fireball. And once again, I take that win. Just so you all know, um, these replays are in order, so I didn't lose any at that point. I, I practically didn't lose any matches during the day, so you won't see any losses until the next episode, when I do more matches and I could potentially lose to some players. But um, in the end, the guy came back again, but with Akuma. I'm not worried about Akuma either because my friend, he mains Akuma, and I watch a lot of Tokido videos, so I'm sort of used to this whole Akuma thing. I mean, everyone gets scared when you hear like Vortex or something like that. But mm, I don't really expect that from players at this point. Apparently his Vortex is getting nerfed in 2012, but I'm pretty sure like Takedo could bring something back, bring something new, and like still create fear against the Kumas. I mean, with the Kumas, sorry. At this point, I, I just practically just said to myself like, I probably won, so... Oh, one thing that I really dislike about using a stick is um, my Hadoukens and Hurricane Kicks don't really come out that often because when I do the quarter circle motion my uh, quarter circle ends in the diagonal for some reason probably because I'm not lifting the stick high enough like but it doesn't come out 
and I sort of tried mashing a EX Shoryuken at the end in the air to make sure that I guarantee myself a win. But what can you do, eh? And that's pretty much the end of the replays. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I know I've been speaking very fast, but <laughs> it's got to be done. Oh yeah, this guy, the Bison, he's also one of the Salty Runback players. I'm not sure if you can see the names clearly because my rendering settings are quite bad at the moment, so I'm gonna, it's gonna be better in the next episode. But yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you soon.